Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Sasha. And for today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the December Glam Bag Plus. <laughs> also, if you guys want to stay updated with Ipsy news or spoilers, make sure to follow my page, Ipsy Spoilers 2020. And my beauty page is Sasha.Beauty. On my Ipsy page, I actually did a fun thing. And also on my channel too, in one of my videos, where I asked like from the options that I was offered in my Glam Bag Plus, because you get to pick three items. I... Ask them if you guys could guess right what I chose for my three items and I'll give you a little shout out. And someone actually got it right on my Ipsy page. And that person is Don T. Mosher. So, so let's just go ahead and see what's in my box. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Oh my gosh, scissors are really dangerous. <laughs> so my refreshments is actually in the box. So I'm really happy because now I get to review those items. But let's get into this first. So the bag... Oh my gosh, the texture of the bag. This is like way different compared to the regular glam bag. And I actually don't have my regular glam bag at hand. It's actually in a different room. But this texture, of it feels so nice. It's like, it feels so comfy, like a blanket or a sweater. I love this material. Because the other material for the glam bag, and I think for the glam bag ultimate, it's like more like a wool type of material. But this material doesn't feel like it will shed. It feels really nice. So I'm not sure what kind of material that is, but it feels really soft too. And the inside of it, it's actually burgundy red. So it's like a drawstring bag. So first thing up, this is what Ipsy chose for me. And this is by IBY Beauty and it's Fireside Eyeshadow Palette. So this is actually Ipsy exclusive. So no wonder I couldn't look it up online. So right here's the packaging. It's freaking gorgeous and I love IBY Beauty. Compared to the, um, the other IBY palettes, the pan sizes are a lot bigger than this, but this one is, you know, it's more miniature, which is still cute. And I bet the formula is still pretty much the same. So I'm gonna do some swatches and I'll give you guys my opinions. Like, is the formula still pretty much the same? So we'll see. This palette is really beautiful. So right here's the swatches. It's a bit, you know, crazy, but yeah, this is so pretty. I love it. The formula feels pretty much the same. They're soft. It's like IBY Beauty formula is so good. Like, I would highly recommend. And they're easy to work with too. So it feels like the formula is still the same. But the colors are just so pretty. It's very, you know, neutral. You could kind of make a Christmas look to it too. So I actually like this a lot. And this is worth, let me see. I believe this is worth $20 if I remember right. The next item that Ipsy chose for me is this. And this is by Tristique. And it's a the matte color and shiny balm lip crown in the shade... Belize Bordeaux. I believe I said it right. I don't remember if I received any Tristy products. But I'm not sure why. I feel like I'm not really impressed with them. I don't know. Maybe I should give it a shot. But right, here's the packaging. It looks very cute. So that's actually like just the look of the pencil. Not the actual pencil, but it's just the packaging. They made the packaging look like a pencil. Bomb inside. So. Ooh. Yeah, that's so cute. Okay. So this will be like a bomb. Yeah. Oh, it looks like a nice color. I'll do a swatch. Oh. It's not really coming out, so it's very clear. But it looks like it's supposed to have a color. But the color's just not really showing. Alright. I'm going to be careful. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's actually a nice red. It's pretty nice red. It's kind of like a berry red. So not like too red, but it's like not too bright, but not too dark. If it was dark red, and I would love dark red, but this this shade of red is fine too. I'm not really like a fan of like bright reds, but you just have to be careful with the packaging. Like make sure you don't dent the crown. Oh, it feels like it's magnetic too. That's crazy. <laughs> that was actually surprising. So when I put it in, it was magnetic. So I was just saying, oh, you got to be careful. But I guess the magnet helps you out. All right. So that's pretty cool. And this is worth $25. So it's a bit a little on the pricey side for just a lip crown. But I'll go with it, I guess. Okay, so now for my choice item. So we're able to make three choices for the Glam Mac Plus during, you know, the choice window. So this was my choice options for my first product. And I went with, and from those choice options, I went with this. And this is by QMS Ace Vitamin Day and Night Cream. And this is worth 
$140. So from all those choice options, I was really want an expensive skincare item and I never tried Kiyomis and like wow 140 I have to pick that so if it wasn't for that I would have picked the bronzer and blush by the compass culture so oh my gosh so I'm really happy that I chose this so before I open it here's the packaging it feels really heavy wow so right here's the packaging the Packaging is so gorgeous. I don't have anything like this at all. So sorry, my ring light is very reflected on the packaging, but it's really nice. It feels so quality too. Actually, uses a mirror too. This is like a nice, you know, mirror. So there is a little thing, like a little seal that you have to take out. But I'm gonna be using this for sure. Ooh. Okay, so it's just one of those things that you can just put back. So right here's the cream. I already have some on my fingers, so don't mind that. But it kind of like has like that tint of, it's a little bit like soft yellow color. So I'm just gonna put it on my, my palm. Feels really nice. Doesn't feel so heavy. So you can use it day and night. Oh, but it does have a scent. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that scent. Mm. But it kind of smells like, like, you know, your grandma perfume from back in the day. So it kind of has that kind of scent. So I'm not sure how it would feel like to put that on my face. Okay, but this is an expensive brand, so I'm willing to give it a shot. I'm just not a fan of the scent. Like it really does smell like grandma's perfume or something. So now for the second category for my second choice Anna was this. And from those I chose, I chose this. So this is by R & Co and it's a centerpiece on one elixir spray. So right here's the packaging. It looks so cute and I've never owned an R & Co item before like ever. This is supposed to be an on one elixir spray. So it's supposed to be like a multi Taskin Luxury Spray that hydrates, nourishes, and makes styling so easy. It's packed with C, buckthorn oil, and hyaluronic acid to smooth strands, amp up the shine, and fight frizz and static for hours too. So I definitely needed this. I love hair care, and I don't have enough like to calm down my hair. So I hope Ipsy offers more Iron Cold products like in general with this brand because I know this brand is really good. And I also want more hair products if possible because you know. You guys can tell my hair is pretty long, so. And my, my hair does get frizzy too, so I really needed this. And this is full size, it's five ounces. Well, 5.2 ounces. And this is worth $32, so. Ooh, I'm super happy. Let me just shake it. So it feels very, I'm not sure if there's a lock to it, but. Ooh, ooh it's kind of fine. Wow, it smells good. So my hair kind of frizzy. I even put some hair products too because I actually straightened my hair today for the first time like in almost like two years. Yeah, I feel like this is helping with my frizz. Can you guys tell? Do you guys see the difference? Yes, and in the way it smells, it smells like, I can't tell, some kind of floral. <laughs> I guess that's why there's a floral design in this. It smells, like, it's not heavily scented, like, like it's hurting, it's gonna hurt my head because I get headaches sometimes. But it's a good smell. I like it. And I feel like it helped out my hair too. Like, I could feel something on my hair. I feel like my hair is getting a little bit heavier after putting that on. But yeah, I feel like it's, it is holding my hair, like, to stay straight and to, you know, keep it from freezing. So I'm very happy that I actually picked this. So, oh my gosh, this is actually my favorite product. <laughs> now for the third category for my third choice, I know it was between these. From those I chose the nail polish and it's the Smith & Colt Nail Liqueur and Bitter Cashmere Daydream. <laughs> wow, this nail polish is so huge. I was not expecting it to be this huge. Look at this guys, look at this. This is the biggest nail polish I have. Look at this packaging. Okay, so I just, 
I just twisted it off and it didn't even came out. So that was really weird. Yeah, this nail polish, it looks like bluish but the tint of green. So yeah, it has like a tint of green with it. And that, there's an applicator. The applicator looks okay. This nail polish is worth $18. So I think the packaging of this is gorgeous, but I think it's a bit excessive. Like it's a little too much and it's pretty heavy too. I love getting nail polishes, so that's why I picked it. I think if it wasn't for that, I I think I would have picked the translucent powder. All right, so now for the refreshments. It comes with a drawstring bag, just like the plus bag. So I'm not sure if it's like every single time. Like I wonder, but the bag is really cute. So it has that refreshment logo right there. And the bag, I think from all the drawstrings, this is probably the cutest one ever. The color scheme is very interesting. Like I'm not really a fan of yellow, but this kind of yellow is actually pretty. I love mustard yellow. Like, I don't like bright yellow, but this isn't, like, really, like, a bright yellow. It has, like, that... It has a tint of green to it. But it's, like, a floral design. And the pink of it, it's, like, a lilac kind of color. And it feels like it's silk, too. The tie is very interesting, too. Like, the pattern. It's kind of, like, tripping my eyes out. <laughs> but, yeah, this is such a quality bag. They should make the plus bags, like, more quality, like... Okay, so the first thing here... I was looking forward to is a refreshments cleansing face wipe so it comes with 30 and it's uh, 7 by 8 inches oh and it says oh there you are what do you mean oh there you are what like i was looking for you so let me see this is almost like the size of a baby wipe almost there's a scent to it too. I'm gonna get this galactic lip I have and I'm just gonna put it right here. Put it like a little swatch. While I wait for this to dry, I'm just gonna get into the rest of the products. And this is a luscious hand cream and it says it's a citrus spritz scent. So right here's the packaging. I think the packaging is pretty cute. I guess it's it's more aimed like for the younger people, it seems. Seal. So I'm just gonna take it out. Look. So I'm squeezing it and it's coming out like so thick. Like, look at that. That's weird. Anyways, let's try it out. Okay, so I won't put it on this side, but. Yeah, I could definitely smell that citrus scent to it. Very lemony. Like, it smells like, you know, the candy and, like, lemon heads. Or, like, lemon candy. The way it feels... Like, it doesn't feel super thick. But I definitely feel my hand being hydrated. So I guess that's very nice. I was actually worried that the, I won't like the scent, but... It's a tolerable scent. It's kind of like dish soap, you know, lemon dish soap. Okay, so now, since this is already all dried up, we're gonna test out the makeup wipe to see how good it is. Ooh. Wow, that's crazy. You guys saw that, right? I freaking cleaned it. And I didn't put lotion on top of here. I only put it right here and it came off and i let that dry too so i'm actually really impressed normally i'm not really a fan of makeup wipes because i just didn't have a good experience from them it would burn my eyes so that's why i didn't really have good experience from using makeup wipes but i'm not gonna be using makeup wipes to wipe off the, my makeup i'm actually gonna use it to clean up like any mistakes like in the eyes if i have to clean it up then i'm just gonna use the makeup wipe instead or clean up my under eye so that's what i'm gonna mainly use it for or maybe my lips too if i'm doing lip swatches so for 30 count that's not bad and i think um to add this into your plan it's gonna be six dollars for the lotion it's actually not that bad the scent of it it smells really clean and um it came out really thick and when I rubbed it, it really hydrated my hand. So I actually like it. it smells not overwhelming either. So I'm actually going to be using this when I need it. And I think to add this to your plan, it's either 4 or $5. So that was my little quick review from this. Like, is it worth it? I feel like this worked pretty good. So I'm going to be using this until it runs out. And the hand cream. 
well, I'll use it. Like, I like it, but I don't love it. But I'll continue using it till it's all out. And I think the back is really adorable. Oh, and actually, I forgot. There's actually, <laughs> there's actually stickers on here. So they're just holographic stickers. So inside the pamphlet, I didn't notice it until last minute. But they're going to have a body cream, body wash, a shave cream, a Lux 5 blade razor, a hand cream, and the face wipe. And I think they're going to be releasing more items even after that. I don't think I'm going to continue my refreshments plan unless it's something that piques my interest. But maybe if I enjoy the face wipes, I might add that to my plans. And for my Glamour Plus, I always give a rating to my bag. I like pretty much everything except for the Tristique Lip Crown. I think this is kind of... I'm just not super fan of but I will use it. I, I really love lip products and I'm not sure why. I'm just not a fan of this brand for some reason. Don't ask me why but it's just the way it is. So I'm going to give this half a star. But from everything I receive in my bag, I'm actually going to give it a four and a half stars. So anyways, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys do, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you guys think or what you guys get in your box. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!